Hello everyone, now let me show you your instrument cluster. So before I go forward, you can uh, adjust your settings with those five buttons. So OK, of course, is select. This is to go through the different windows. And every time, like now, when, it's, when there's a warning message, like now it says it's 2.5 degrees and it's blinking, you cannot do anything. But now then it works. So you can go to your uh, audio, to your settings, and then through your whole info. And with up and down, you go through the whole stuff. And with select, you could change stuff. So let's go through this. Of course, here on the left, you have your power meter. So the blue thing will be economical up to 60% and then the white thing is uh, will be too much power to drive economical. Then the green is the charge, so regen. And when you go off, when you have it in B and you uh, do a full regen, it goes through that middle line. So where, where it's dark in the middle and then when you touch the brake, it, it, uh, there will, there's more regen and then it goes almost to the, well, as, long, as much as you brake. If you only use regen, then it uses the full regen and then the, the real physical brakes come into play. In the middle, you have, of course, your speedometer and uh, underneath your uh, info. And on the right, you have your battery state of charge and it's in weird increments so every little line is 6.25 percent because so right now <laughs> oh my god we will be at 78 88 89 something like this percent and yes um, let's go through this stuff first we go to the settings you can of course select your language how can i go back have to select it again. How can I go back? I have to go down all the way. It's, I did it once. Look and back. Uh, FD data. This is what it all shows, and you can deselect stuff that you're not interested in. So speed warning. I don't need that. You can adjust your time, your units. Units will be temperature and for consumption distance. You have those miles and temperature, of course, Celsius or Fahrenheit. And then we we'll go back. You have your service info. Okay. How do I go back? Uh -huh. uh, what else do we have? Factory reset. We don't know good at that. What does it do? Aha, uh -huh. factory. No, no, not going in that. And you can't, when you go down here, it doesn't go up. You have to go real up. This is every time when you want to turn off your e-sound, so that horrible noise, and then it gives you a warning, and you can't do anything when that warning is on again. You have to wait, and now you can do stuff. So then, of course, yeah, yeah, it's still warning me. That's your audio, would be, would say radio or digital radio, or now it's Bluetooth audio. And now we are in our MFD, I'm guessing this is something display, multifunctional display, I don't know. This will be your instant, con your instant consumption, your travel time, and your digital speedometer, your average speed, total distance, distance of, your, of, of trip one, your range, and your range is down there as well, your available power, and of course, when the car is warm, so when you pushed it too much and the, and the motor is hot, or when your battery state of charge is low, then this Emax goes down. Your average consumption, and we're back here again. If you want to reset something, you press OK for long, and then it resets it. And if you want to go to trip B, anywhere where it says that number one on top, you can press again, and then you're in trip B. And now when you change, it's also all in trip B. And that's nice too. Hello everyone, now I want to go with you through the middle screen here. And uh, when you press any button here, of course, you go to that thing. I have to do that, or to media, or your phone, 
or your menu. Now on those buttons down here, always do this, what it's on top of them. And with this button here, you can of course, let's go a bit left, can of course go then right or left or push a button. Let's go through volume. You can change, of course, the normal features. And if you want to go back, you have to press this button. Then what was volume? Then go to phone. You can select your phone and your profile. Then we have media settings. Remix, repeat, including subfolders. Uh huh. Then um, but it was media settings. Why did it go back? Radio settings, radio text traffic, delete pre presets by group, advanced settings, what's in here, uh -huh. and what's in here. Uh -huh. I don't know, I never used the radio, I always use Bluetooth music. Then, yes, then we have the system settings, screen. You can select that it turns off, then it just shows the clock. Well, you can, of course, the brightness and you can uh, say what you want it to show. Where was that? App connection, remove the factory setting, system information, blah, 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 blah. And the app connection, there's almost nothing. You can just turn it on or off. But where was that? Did you see the show time and standby? This was the thing. So when you turn it off, yeah, yeah, don't forget your phone. Then you see the time. Turn it back on. And then we go, uh, when you have the uh, Maps and More app, you can go also in here. And with this, those buttons now, you can select what you see in the Maps More app. So it changes with the button here, so you don't have to, you can press up here, but you don't have to. And when you press again the same button, can you see that? Where am I? Yes, when you press the same button, then it selects those two. So that's really nice and battery information and you go through all the settings. That's nice. really works and then you get out of it and that's it for those settings thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye